September 15th Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible Titus Chapter 3 from the New Testament Remind them to be subject to rulers and authorities, to be obedient, to be ready for every good work. They must not slander anyone, but be peaceable, gentle, showing complete courtesy to all people. For we too were once foolish, disobedient, misled, enslaved to various passions and desires, spending our lives in evil and envy, hateful and hating one another. But when the kindness of God, our Savior, and his love for mankind appeared, he saved us not by works of righteousness that we have done, but on the basis of his mercy, through the washing of the new birth and the renewing of the Holy Spirit whom he poured out on us in full measure through Jesus Christ, our Savior. And so, since we have been justified by his grace, we become heirs with the confident expectation of eternal life. The saying is trustworthy, and I want you to insist on such truths, so that those who have placed their faith in God may be intent on engaging in good works. These things are good and beneficial for all people. But avoid foolish controversies, genealogies, quarrels, and fights about the law because they are useless and empty. Reject a divisive person after one or two warnings. You know that such a person is twisted by sin and is conscious of it himself. When I send Artemis or Tychicus to you, do your best to come to me at Nicopolis, for I have decided to spend the winter there. Make every effort to help Zenas, the lawyer, and Apollos on their way. Make sure they have what they need. Here is another way that our people can learn to engage in good works, to meet pressing needs, and so not to be unfruitful. Everyone with me greets you. Greet those who love us in the faith. Grace be with you all. God, I know that this is one of the chapters and some of these verses are ones that confuse people and, and lead to doctrine that's not factual where people believe that they have to do good works for their salvation and it's actually quite the opposite that our salvation obviously comes from your grace and that is the only place that our salvation comes from and we cannot earn our salvation we cannot do enough work here on earth good or otherwise to earn our salvation is only through your grace we do good works as a show of the new heart that we have. Uh, we do good works to glorify you, to show other people how you live in us. Uh, but we definitely don't receive our salvation from good works. And so often people think that they can earn it. And sometimes it's not just through good works. People believe they can pay their way to, to heaven. I see that a lot in, in churches. Um, doing good works, uh, being a good person. I hear that one a lot that if a person was good, then they're going to heaven. Nope, that doesn't count at all. Uh, it is only by your grace that we are justified and that we are allowed to become heirs of eternal life. Um, it is not by our works. But again, we do these works uh, to showcase your work in us, and we should be honored to do so. God, allow us to do good works today to put your grace and your mercy in our lives on full display for everyone else around us so they can see in our heart, in our lives, and in the work that we do, you fully magnified and glorified. In your son's name I pray. Amen.